so I was riding my bike over here just about half an hour ago and I was on the other side of the street and it's all parked right here. A green Chevy Tahoe, just like Mike had. Back in high school. And there was also a woman that was probably in her 50s, maybe in her 40s, maybe she just lived a really hard life, she had on her hip a child that was maybe four, and a young boy approached, and... I would say he was about 10, whereas his older sister was probably like 12. So maybe late 40s for the mom. And she was by herself with these three children, so not by herself at all, but by herself in Dallas. Um, she was asking for $250. So that she could get lodging for the night. And I said that I didn't have it and couldn't. But I asked if I could connect them to services. And she said, oh, but the corona To, to shelters, just the idea of shelters, that's what she said, and so, so I went across the street and bought, um, well, I piled a number of groceries, uh, piled a number of groceries in my On the counter, I got like milk and juice and some Cliff Bars and some ice cream. And I was all set to pay and realized I didn't have my wallet because I didn't bring it with me on my bike ride. And so then I came across the street. I had pulled out my phone in the interim and looked up, um, gosh, I think it was like St. John's or St. something. There was a center. It was on St. Paul Street. And, um... You know, I gave them the address. I wrote down the address and the phone number of the place and the name of the place. And I gave my phone number and my name. And I handed it to them. And the boy said, We've already been there. Eight people died, he said. Pretty uh, surprising. Pretty surprising. So, uh, I decided to ride my bike as fast as I could back to my apartment and got my car and my money and um, also like a comic book and a tennis ball and some sunglasses because I don't and I drove back to this place before it closed at one well, I mean I guess maybe it didn't close at one <laughs> Anyway, I got back here before one, and 
put it up. And uh, came out, and they were gone. They were no longer here. She said they'd been sleeping in the car for two days. And the uh, daughter said there wasn't any air conditioning in the car. So. That is a reality that's happening. <laughs> That's, oh my god, that's their sign that they made. Wow. Operation. Well, you definitely need something.